Hi everybody, it's Marina Love, reporting live from Barra de Navidad, Jalisco, in Mexico. I am at Mi Familia Casa, and I have been doing a lot of journeying over the past couple days since arriving. And um, I've really tapped into the essence of nature, to Mother Earth, to Father Sky, to Grandmother Moon, and something very interesting came to me over this period that I feel is really necessary to share with you all. And um, I've actually written it down because <laughs> I have a very busy mind being a researcher that I am, and it's often hard to remember a lot of the things that come through, but this one was so loud, so I wrote it down. And I wanted to share that with you today, and it is um, everything we think we know about being conscious, living humans must change. And this is something that I have been talking about now for quite a while um, because I'm observing a lot of things along my journey here in human form. And, you know, we are caught up in so much fluff and we need to defluff ourselves. <laughs> and... Um, we really need to reevaluate the way that we're living because a lot of what we're doing is unsustainable. And these are not things that, you know, this is not news that is new to a lot of you. This is stuff that we think about constantly, especially for evolve artists like myself, people who are constantly striving to know more about the universe, more about why we're here, essentially. So no longer can we see ourselves separate from our environments. Purely and truly, we are fundamentally intertwined with those around us. Truly, we do share the same mind. And there is science, for those of you who think science is a religion, there is science that proves this theory. And if you look back in history, there were certain inventions that multiple people invented around the same time. Now, why do you think that is? You know, there's so many other things that prove this theory that we're sharing the same mind. Not only are we sharing the same heart, but we're also sharing the same mind. And Mother Earth is experiencing this as well. Mother Earth experiences pain. Mother Earth experiences joy. Mother Earth experiences uncertainty. In fact, any emotion that you may be experiencing, Mother Earth experiences too. So when you're not feeling good, just remember that you're sharing that with everyone around you. And it's okay to feel bad. Sometimes things happen in our lives where it forces us to not feel good. And that's okay. It's part of being human. It's part of evolving. It's part of growing, is going through the emotions and being real with yourself. And that's where a lot of people tend to get caught up in this whole love and light fluff, is that they actually don't start to face their true emotions. Oh, everything is love. Everything is light. But inside, they're just completely breaking down. Some of them, not all of them. Some people are very um, good with themselves and have accepted their stance in society and feel okay. But I just don't want anyone to get caught up in this whole illusion of everything, love and life, love and love, whatever. It's good to choose love, but it's also good to get real with yourselves and sometimes break down and have a good cry and be honest, you know, when things are not going well. It's really important. So another thing I came up with is that there is certainly is structure in the spirit world. But it exists within a sublime matrix of compassion, harmony, ethics, and more morality far beyond what we practice on earth. And that's true. That is very true. Anytime you dip into a space of meditation or oneness, you feel this. It's almost like the only thing that exists within that zone is compassion. And beauty and you know there definitely is a value system there that's overwhelming kindness tolerance patience and absolute love right now is nothing more than a mere choice in what perhaps is a global lucid dream so with that being said if we are in a global lucid dream I feel that it's necessary to learn how to develop a different system of thinking and to evolve our level of compassion that we have with one another. I feel that that is essentially what could change a lot of the problems here on earth, including the wars. We do have 
the ability to um, affect these situations, and that's what the meditation effect it proved. That's what it proved. You know, when 7,000 people got together and meditated, there was a 72% decrease in global terrorism. And there's over 50 studies that show this. Why do you think that is? So what I'm trying to say is that in my journey, in my space of the journey that I'm in right now, where I'm really discovering this universal mind, this universal heart, and it goes beyond just humans. It goes into Mother Earth, it goes into Father Sky, the Grandmother Moon. So think about that today as you journey along. Think about this global lucid dream. And just breathe. There is so much in this world to be grateful, to be excited, to be in pure bliss about. And whatever we focus on expands. So choose effectively. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to know more information, you can visit my website at www.lovemovement.ca. Or you can just specifically check me out um, on a different terms. I also do coaching for women. And I have a website called www.goddesspreneuracademy.com. Right now it is in the process of being built. So if you'd like to know more information, you can sign up for the mailing list there and be in the know. And for everyone, again, thank you for watching. I love you. Have a great day. And think about it. Truly and purely think about why we are here. Mwah.